Well, howdy folks. Um, if you're planning to take out the front motor mounts for your Sportster, um, probably from 2004 to on up, I'm not sure for how, how far in the future or whatever, that, you know, the Sportsters use the uh, front motor mounts like this. Um, I got the front motor mounts, uh, the drag specialties. Uh, there's a new one right there. I have it set up where you can take out that center insert. That that will definitely help. Um, I had a hell of a time taking out the um, the old motor mount on the right side. I got the new one in there. Um, but uh, at first I tried to take it out, the old motor mount, just with the kickstand down. I don't recommend that. I recommend getting it on a center stand. Uh, and if you have another jack you can to lift up the motor and that would also help um, There's a couple of other YouTube videos that show you how to do it that probably works if you just use the uh, the uh, Just to stand it to raise the motor and have it on the kickstand But I had a hell of a time because I couldn't get the motor to move far enough to allow me to take the uh, old motor mount out and if possible, if you can take out the center stem or insert, the metal insert in the middle there, I didn't do that. Uh, I had a hell of a, I spent hours trying to take the old motor mount out and I, did, I just couldn't push the motor far enough to get it out with the metal insert in there. So uh, there's other YouTube video recommending you to take out that metal insert and how you would do that. Because I tried to do it before just with a screwdriver and a, and a heavy hammer it wouldn't come out you really have to pound that center insert if you can't get access to it the only way i i, I recommend is if you have like a a copper pipe that fits the center that'll fit the inner the center insert and you could just put it there and then hit it with a heavy hammer and try to get it out but that that center insert was pretty stuck for me i couldn't get it out no way so what I end up doing is I end up getting a reciprocating saw and just cutting it out. Cutting out that, that metal insert there. Oh, right here. And just cutting out the remaining part of the, uh, well, the, the old motor mount. Um, I end up cutting it on the inside part right, right here along there. I got it sort of loose, so I was able to get in there and just cut away. That was the only way I could get it out. But if, if you could get if you could get that metal insert out in the center there, it'll probably make it a whole lot easier. So um, as far as taking out that metal insert for the new one, I went ahead and have this heavy heavy duty hammer and just pounded away on that metal insert. But uh, once it gets flat, I used the uh, copper pipe here and got it out. It's only held on there about a quarter, about a quarter inch in this uh, mount. So once you get once you get out, it comes out really easily. And that's this is the new one. And I got the new the new motor mount installed. And you know the funny thing, it still didn't seem like there's enough space to. Uh, to get in to get the motor mount out, and I I got the old one out by pushing it down this way after I cut it. And this is the same way in which, it, in which I inserted it. I went in this way, but it still didn't seem like I had enough space to get it in there. Um, there was, it was just about a quarter inch short. And I couldn't figure out how to move the motor further over. But then I had this idea, why don't I just grease it up on both sides of the new motor mount and grease it up on both sides of of the engine here and so what i end up using is i got this crc there's a multi-purpose they don't sell this version anymore but there's a crc multi-purpose grease or you could use any kind of grease probably and i just grease it up and put it in and it just slid right in so easily you can probably put grease on there to slide it out too so um so uh Hopefully this helps. Um, I didn't see any other videos out there, so hopefully this helps you in getting your right side motor mount for your Sportster 
Because, man, I gotta tell you, I spent hours trying to get it out with the metal insert. I couldn't figure out any any way to get it done. I left most of everything on. I left the, the pipes on. Um, and everything else, as you can see, I didn't take everything. There's no need to take everything off. But I did kind of scratch it here. Messed up because I was trying so hard. You know, I'm just a do-it-yourself or not, not a professional. So, uh, I wish I had got that metal insert out first, but, it, you know, it wouldn't come out when I first tried to do it, just with a heavy screwdriver and that heavy hammer just would not budge. Um, so, if you could get that center in metal insert out, that would be the best thing to do. Um, now, as far as getting out, taking off, you know, you just... Um, Getting off this, this center metal bolt on both sides, it, you know, you just take, get this out of the way. Then you get access to the bolt on both sides, you just take that, this little cover thing off. And um, you just take both of these bolts, you, you have to get a, I think a size one uh, socket for both sides. I didn't have a size one, but I had a, a I had a, a millimeter that kind of fit this on the other side so they would get both get that off and then you take this off and, and the old the old mount on the other side of the bike the left side is pretty easy it just comes right out this is the this is the, the one that's really a pain in the ass to get out so uh so once you get that out well once you get this out you grease up the new one slide it slide it up here then you're set. This is the old. This is a new insert. I'm just going to grease this up and get it in on the inside and pound it as far as I can. Get it like it like it's set on the new one there. If I can't, I'll just let whatever when it times up. You know, when you tighten it up with the bolts and everything, it'll it'll set in place. But I'm so damn happy I was able to get that in because I thought it would take me forever. This is like my second day working on. It. I was I was just worn out trying to get the old one out. I'm trying to figure out how I can get, how I can get the new one in, because again, it didn't, the motor just doesn't move over enough. But uh, once you grease it up, it just slides right in. So um, I really I, I took off, you know, the bolts here for the exhaust. You see, I could move move the motor over. I did maybe I just loosen it up. I didn't have to take the bolts all the way off. Um, but yeah, I hope this helps because there really is no video that really kind of explains how you take that out and, and actually put it in. Putting it in is actually easier, of course, than taking it out. And then the next trick is just trick is just getting this insert back in to the new motor mount, right side motor mount. So I hope this video helps um, help you all out there and. Uh, Good luck to y'all because it was a hell of a fun trying to get this this old one out. But I'm so happy I got the new one in. I'm talking too much here. So y'all take care. Bye.